Hello guys, me Carlos Santos and Gab Carnata, and welcome to another edition of Sub Subnautica. So, as the title says, it's another edition of, you know, another sequel, but it's titled Subnautica Below Zero. So, instead of being in the, I don't know where it was set in the first part of the game, but it was more of like out in the coast, like Pacific Ocean or Atlantic Ocean. I don't know which ocean in America. But, but for Subnautica Below Zero, it's in the Arctic climate of Alaska, I believe. So if you enjoy being in the cold weather, this is the game for you. So. so I try to make it a 100% long play, like every move you make or every interaction you do. I try to put it in the game, but the thing is, as me playing the game, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get every footage of it because I made a few mistakes along the way and with the help from Trevo Guides, he actually is the one that gave me the guide to actually beat the game in under an hour. So, I give props to him. So, let's start out with um, me trying to use his developer code to actually go inside a, uh, a submarine looking prototype and actually. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about in this ga game review, but whatever. I'm just doing the best I can. So I don't know the plot of what's going on, but yeah, if I can really comprehend and just listen, then I'll be able to tell you what I how I beat the game and all that, my way versus Chiba Guide's way. So yeah. It's basically science fiction, not bad like the first game, but this uh, sequel, I think it's much better when I played it, and I actually finished it really quickly, I'm telling you. I just um, built prototypes underwater and then actually, you know, try to beat, beat the game to the best of my ability, you know. Yeah, it's like, uh, like in the first game, I, uh, had to feed some seaweeds and fishes underwater. While in this game, you actually are building something and you're, like, walking or running the whole time. So, yeah. Like, I don't want to give away the spoiler alert, but actually when you near the end of the game... You'll be, you'll be seeing a uh, weird creature at the end. It's it's a green looking creature, but yeah, I don't want to give it away. But as the video is only like thirty five minutes long, it won't take you long to go through my guide when I when you uh, see my video. But I'm quite sure it's in the. Uh, the correct order of how the story plays out, so. To be honest, I think people that looked at my video last year, yeah, it was a negative review because I didn't understand the plot of the game very well, but for this game, I wanted it to be much better, so you guys are focused and really actually watching the video closely because... Either way, if you go to another person's YouTube channel and actually look at their ways of beating some nautical below zero, then hey, go for it. But if you want to watch mine, that's cool with it. So, yeah, I'm doing it very slowly, so I'm still building parts <laughs> for like one to two minutes of it. So, so I'll just stop here, so... If you have any thoughts or questions, type anything 
below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and think and feel welcome. And then give a thumbs up button if you like it so much. Click on that bell notification so you get some uh, future videos from my channel, Happy Carl95. So I make a Happy Carl95. Hope you enjoyed this uh, adventure in the Alaskan climate and peace out. Without spy penglings, scientists may have never discovered that penglings incubate their eggs in small cave burrows, often alongside thermal lily roots. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that...
dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. In the future, I hope you will avoid contact with the woman in the exosuit. I am among the last of a dying civilization. If you were to compromise your well-being, the species could go extinct. What makes you think she's hostile anyway? A little grumpy, maybe, but who wouldn't be stranded out here alone? She did not respond to my distress call. And she is well armed. Maybe she's afraid of us. I have no desire to find out. Detecting stern of an astronautical Soltrans Gov vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Inoperative. Didn't I tell you to stay away? From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida's the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Signal location uploaded to PDA.
what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Proceed with caution. A Leviathan class creature is near. I sense the presence of a substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. This is the fabrication facility where we will construct my next form. We must first locate all the necessary components. You should focus on that. You didn't even know what this place was, but you're telling me what to focus on? I am trying to encourage you. So, Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind. My body. Perhaps you should build the next component. So you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacterium? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this.
commencing date to transfer. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. We noticed that a species of Leviathan gun produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But? It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out. Affecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do.
Do you still wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleport lock, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't have... Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time? Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the homeworld safe, in hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Help me prepare the ship. The energy masks must be moved into place. Well, this is different. Very good. Return to me and I will initiate a ship assembly. Thank you. The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. calibrated for heavier bodies. I would have helped you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yes. I found the answers I was looking for. I'm ready to move on. I can't bring Sam back. But I know she died fighting, and I got to finish her work. I'll always carry her memory. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. Launching in three, two, one.
What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls dimming. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some positive feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.